transfer between college, business, and even government is expected to have a big payoff for future jobs in the region. Just how big is anyone's guess? Seth Voorhees has the story from the Rochester Institute of Technology. It is a rapidly growing business. And this high-tech printing apparatus at RIT's Brinkman Lab offers just a glimpse of the possibilities. I'm really pleased to welcome you here today to share some exciting news. RIT has acquired new state-of-the-art equipment for making printed electronic devices, which it showed off Friday. If you replace toner powder with nanomaterials, that's, that's where you get your devices from, and, and, so that's, and that's how we make printing into a manufacturing process. RIT students now get hands-on experience in the rapidly growing 3D printed electronics technology. College researchers help advance the industry. RIT actually has a reputation for teaching our students the real stuff that they can use when they go out into industry to help grow our economy, and uh, this lab's a very, very important part of it. RIT has paired up with several local high-tech firms, and the effort means that once students graduate, they are more than ready to enter a high-tech workforce. You know, the days when uh, you'd graduate an engineer and then he'd spend two years being trained by the company are gone. The companies can't afford that. The benefit to that, say experts, is that a trained, highly skilled workforce and innovative research base can attract new business. It is becoming clearer and clearer that the wave of the future is going to be a lot of academic, government, and private collaborations to really maximize on not only technology, but on job creation. It's important for us to actually train our students to do the real thing on the latest equipment so they can hit the ground running and support these companies when they graduate. Seth Voorhees, YNN.